the story of gender and technology is not only a negative one. As I have mentioned before, technology also plays a part and an important role in creating new fields in journalism. Fields which provide opportunities for women to avoid the barriers that they face in traditional journalism. In the next part of this unit, we will focus on opportunities and challenges for women in one of those new fields, data journalism. In data journalism, traditional journalistic working practices and methods are mi mixed with data analysis, programming and data visualization techniques. This may sound rather abstract, but you have probably heard about the NSA files, the Iraqi war logs or the Panama papers where journalists and computer programmers work together to expose structural inequalities, corruption and power imbalances. Data journalism offers opportunities for female journalists. In qualitative research, for example, data journalism is considered as a field that is still open for everybody. And it's less guarded by an old boys network that's, that serves as a channel for professional knowledge, exchange and information about job vacancies and promotions among men in traditional journalism. Data journalists also have created their own professional networks for socialization and exchanging information. And they are cre created and consolidated through online communication, for example, mailing lists. And this is considered more inclusive and accessible to all journalists, independent of gender and age. The culture of data journalism is also based more on cooperation and teamwork than traditional journalism. For example, data journalists often share their methods and codes online, even with colleagues from competing newsrooms. They are also involved in large cross-border projects where journalists join forces from all over the world and they work in cross-disciplinary teams together with programmers, developers and also designers. These values are very present in the computer field as well, and also in the open source movement. Some interviewees in qualitative research have noted that because data journalism focuses more on these values of collaboration, transparency and exposing wrongdoings in society, the practitioners are also more conscious about gender discrimination in their own community. Data journalism also offers opportunities for journalists to work in investigative journalism, for example. In qualitative interviews, several female journalists have indicated that they choose for a career in data journalism because it offered them more autonomy in choosing the topics they wanted to cover and also more access to hard news beats. And going beyond the division that we see in the news beats that is often based on essentialist notions uh, about preferences and skills in traditional journalism. Data journalism also functioned as a tool to address gender-related issues, women's rights, sexism, topics that are often labeled as women's teams in traditional newsrooms and normally receive very little media attention. Here is an example of one of those projects. Hi, this is Ceyda Ulukaya from Turkey. I work as journalist at Milliyet Daily and I'm also the founder of uh, Femicide Map Project. So what is Femicide Map Project? It is uh, an example of data journalism um, that aims to suggest how serious the problem of femicide in Turkey. Uh, it can also be seen as a database of femicide uh, that let us know how many women is killed, by whom, where, under which pretext, and um, whether or not uh, she was exposed to violence or demanded a protection for security reasons, etc. Uh, why did I choose to report about this issue with uh, data journalism? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think this kind of mapping techniques or uh, more generally uh, data journalism methods um, help us uh, provide uh, a broader view. Uh, so when we see things from this uh, broader perspective, uh, it is much more easier to see the pattern that highlights uh, why the problem remains unsolved or uh, which kind of measures should be taken.